What's going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk about Vithus versus the Grace set and which one you're going to want to prioritize. Is there one that absolutely shatters the other one in DPS? We're going to test it in this video. All right, so what are we testing today? Well, we're really comparing the difference between running the four piece Vithus with a two piece set combination with it. Um, the four piece Vithus is going to give you that attack speed as well as increase your beneficial effects on yourself. Uh, when you go ahead and get a beneficial effect, you're going to get that at 30% attack speed bonus. The six piece version doesn't really factor into DPS. It's going to give you that life drain, which doesn't necessarily increase your DPS directly. Um, so we're going to omit that here. And then we're going to be comparing that to the four piece combination of grace with another two piece set. The four piece version of the grace is going to give you that extra damage when we hit an enemy five times. And then of course, we're also going to test the six piece version as well. So I'm going to go over all the combinations of sets that we're running and just showcase the actual testing that I did in terms of DPS. Let's jump over to that video. All right, so before we jump into the test here, I wanna explain a few things. First off, the builds used, I've only used two different builds, Three of these have the same build, um, and then one of them has a different build. You can see here that the first one and the third and fourth one have the same build, and then the second uh, option here uh, is going to have a different build than the other ones. And so I'll go over the two, all the builds later on, but on the bottom you'll notice that all the timers start about five seconds and that's because it was just a good time i started the clock and then started dealing damage at five seconds because it was easier for me to go ahead and get accurate numbers also the sets are placed at the bottom we have a two-piece grace a four-piece vithus and then another option of two-piece grace four-piece vithus because they're two separate builds and then i have a six-piece grace and then the last one here is a four-piece grace with a two-piece shawl boss which is actually an interesting option here now, the reason why I, went, I ran two separate Vithus with our two of the same set items, but with two different builds, is because Vithus has a different effect than Grace. Grace, you just need to do damage, whereas Vithus, you need some sort of beneficial effect to go ahead and proc it. So I ran a different build that will go ahead and focus on procking Vithus versus just dealing damage. We're going to go ahead and run the clip here and just check out how each one of these builds do. Keep in mind uh, that you can see here, we're running very similar builds across the board. Uh, again, that pure build in the second clip here is going to be a separate build uh, than the rest. And we're gonna try to go ahead and go down to about 500,000 HP on the Blood Rose. Another thing to note with this test is I was on Hell 4, and when we're on Hell 4, I had maximum cre uh, combat rating bonus. So when I was swapping these out, I wasn't necessarily getting any bonuses or co combat rating uh, differential between the, all the set items, but uh, there may have been small different percentages uh, that might have modified it. Uh, it wasn't a perfect test, but it does give you an idea on how valuable each one of these sets are compared to in one another. I will say that by the end of this test, I was kind of surprised at how similar all of these set items are. Uh, it really, you can kind of pick and choose which one you want. You will see here that we kind of are keeping up with the D same DPS. You can see on the right, we're about 1.5 million approaching. Same with the third one as well. The first and second one with the Vithus are lagging behind a little bit. Specifically, the first clip is lagging behind the other ones. The second clip here um, is actually kind of keeping up in terms of consistent DPS. And you'll see here the first, the third and fourth clip completely finished right now. And then the second clip has finished. And then the first one is absurdly slow uh, compared to the other ones. Not absurdly, but definitely a noticeable difference uh, with that first clip. And the reason for that is, again, that first clip here, uh, this was really just going ahead and using the exact same build as these other two on the right-hand side, which didn't really work with the Vithu's set item. And the reason for this is we don't have any way or a lot of ways to proc the Vithu's set piece, so we really weren't getting a ton of value from our set items. This was kind of like running basically a very, very uh, awkward uh, <laughs> set piece because we couldn't proc it. So it's like running nothing. Um, and I'll just back up here so you can actually see the different sets run. But the second option actually did much, much better than that first option because we modified the build, tuned it for Vithus. But that's another variable change. The third and fourth were clearly the winners um, in terms of damage. 
and the third and fourth really didn't have too much difference. Uh, the four piece or the six piece grace here would have procced about twice, um, and then the Six are the fourth option here. The two piece shell boss kind of made up for the damage missing from that six piece grace. And so, really, really interesting tests here. Uh, and I will say that the four piece grace and the two piece shell boss is much easier to farm for typically because you may just pick up some of these set pieces as you go along. The six piece grace, you really have to focus in on every single item being the right slot. And so it's oftentimes easier to farm a four and a two piece set than a six piece set. That's something to keep in mind when we're talking about this. And then of course, the four piece Vithus and the two piece Grace has a completely different build uh, in that second clip. So I'm gonna go over both the builds here and then talk about some of the advantages and maybe why it's not one or the other, but certain scenarios require or would want different sets. All right, so jumping into game here, this is going to be the build that we're really just going to be running standard in terms of dungeon and a lot of damage content. Uh, so what we're running here is going to be Disintegrate, Arcane Wind, Ray of Frost, and Teleport with Magic Missile. Our legendary items are going to be Mask of Illusions, Waking Invocation It's going to create the clone uh, that's going to do the beam of Ray of Frost. Searing Judgment is going to make our Disintegrate actually burn with fire. Chaos Next is going to basically give our disintegrate a little bit of AoE that allowed us to clear some of the monsters there. Wind Shaper is going to make our Arcane Wind a tornado, and Unrepentant Gale is going to give us two charges. Uh, this is the build that we were running for the three clips, and then the specific Vithu set uh, build I'll go over in just a moment here. Uh, but first, this is just a pure damage build. You don't really have a ton of mobility. You do have the teleport available to you. This is a very, very standard um, sort of Firestorm build with modification of Ray of Frost, something that you'll see very, very commonly. And with the four-piece Vithu set, it really did pour why? Because the only way to proc Vithus uh, is the illusion teleport here, and it doesn't really work all the time, which makes it very, very awkward with Vithus. So our Vithus focus uh, build here is going to be the Arcane Torrent, Lightning Nova, Ray of Frost, Teleport, and Magic Missile. Our legendary items are going to be Mask of Illusions, Waking Invocation, Sir's Fortuitous War, which is going to give our Teleport a shield, 99 Wild Arcana, which is going to make our Arcane Torrent do more damage, Aimless One, which is going to modify our Arcane Torrent to do more damage and randomly shoot missiles around. And the Siphon is going to go ahead and give our Lightning Nova movement speed. Now, a couple things I want to mention about this build. First off, I saw a lot of people comment on this build last time I was using it in a video talking about its max damage, max mobility, kind of maximizing those two atmospheres of the wizard build. And you can see here, it does a lot of damage. It's only slightly worse than the Grace uh, build with the Firestorm and the Disintegrate Ray, but you get the ability to go ahead and move and hit with the Lightning Nova and just overall get more survivability as well as giving yourself more movement speed, which is a huge advantage of this build. Now, the reason why I mentioned all that is because I believe that this build has specific better uses than the other Firestorm build, and the Firestorm build also has other uses that this build perhaps won't. So first thing is, when we're using this build, you're going to want to use this one when you're going to want more mobility. The damage loss, as you can see there, was very, very minor. You can see that the uh, timing was about 86 seconds with this build and about 82 seconds with the other one. And that's less than 5% or around 5% damage loss with this build, which is a very minor damage loss for you to gather more movement speed and the a little bit of extra survivability. Now, the movement speed is a huge thing when we're talking about dungeons that you need to go ahead and move to another place and your teammates can keep up or you need to keep up with your teammates. It's a big deal. Not only that, but you're also going to go ahead and get the extra shielding from the teleport. Now, however, the counterpoint to this is you're going to want to use the Firestorm build when you're going to have to do a little bit more AoE because the Disintegrate Ray is going to hit that big AoE as well as going to deal that 5% extra damage when we're talking about boss fights. So there's definitely viability for both of these builds with these specific set items, but I would say generally speaking, you're going to go ahead and favor the Grace set specifically the four-piece grace set uh, oftentimes in PvE content and then modify it with 
potentially a six piece gray set, depending on what content you might want to do. If you're talking about dungeon farming, I recommend that you do not run the six piece because you're going to waste the six piece proc on some random monster as you're going through uh, because of maybe potentially a random seeping bile proc, a random blessing of the worthy proc if you're using those, or if you're just going to go ahead and hit one monster only going to hit that one monster whereas if you run a shawl boss you're going to get a lot more damage from your basics on the main boss the counterpoint to this is the six piece grace will go ahead and be better if you just burst down the boss the burst damage will go ahead and do more damage with the six piece grace set overall six piece grace and four piece grace plus a two piece set item is going to be your generally best set for the wizard However, I will note that when you're playing another class, because we tested both of these set items, if you're a type of class uh, that may not have some channeling abilities or uh, may not be able to hit as often with the gray set, you definitely want to focus on the Vithus because that attack speed is going to give you a lot more value. And then, of course, you have something like the Necromancer, which is just going to get more value from the Shepherd set, generally speaking. So lots of different variables when we're talking about other classes. But for the wizard today, we could say both builds are viable. I will say Grace is generally more viable. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you liked this video by liking the video and I will see you the next one.